so here we have a lightweight bucket, uh, 918, and we're going to fit our Classic FX bolster protectors to. So this is just an instructional video. Uh, the first thing really you want to do is, it's easier if you remove the center cover, uh, the center section. And if you're replacing our inserts, maybe with those, it's just easier to do these. Um, and also you can just lift the uh, base section up, but you may have on 2021 seats a couple of clips. Uh, in, these hasn't got them, but in that sort of position there, which you just, you'll push down and unclip and then that'll free it up. And then you've got, got them either side. So one over there and one here. Uh, on this particular seat, because it's a 2020, it doesn't have them. So we prefer to take these off, these covers, which are easily replaceable if you just look how to um, put them back on on our um, cover installation video. So, on to fitting. So they come um, uh, in this situation with a left and right, okay, with the, whole, the, the, the switch, this switch cut out already, and a little bit of extra Velcro. So if we commence in fitting, we will okay so one of the first things that we do is just put this locator uh, velcro in position just under that bar it's all out the way not seen what uh, the seats out of the car obviously so then we will start to fit our bolster protector so in our instructions as well we always say to fit the switch first. Now you can tease the switch forward but a little bit if you want, like that, but and it makes it a little bit easy. You don't need to push the switch all the way out. We've had some people break the outer casing and being a bit vicious with it. Uh, and that's basically it. So you fit the switch first and you work everything back from the switch. So you can see smoothing it out. Uh, then these little ears, they, they they clip underneath the existing seat like so and then as you can see you work everything back from the switch there's a that little bit at the bottom there there's a method for that in a second so you work everything back um, this part here is just to dress it around here so don't worry too much about that so then what we're doing is we're smoothing everything back and getting everything as factory and as tight as possible so it it mirrors the seat this little edge connector at the bottom here you just tuck that in there and that holds that bottom corner really nice and sharply in place and then work everything back as we say in our instructional um, sheet and stick that down to one side so that your base cover will fit again. Okay, so then that's it fitted. Um, there's a bit of smoothing out again round if you want to do that. But a lot of it is smoothing all this back to obtain a factory. And you see it, it actually mirrors the top of the seat and comes down. At the end of the day, what we're trying to achieve here is as, sort of as tight as possible. It is a cover and it's protecting the underneath, which is the key to it, to stop wear. So once that's all in place, you feed that eyelet through there, like that. Okay, and round the back here, under there. Okay, and this helps pull the back into place. And then the piece that you've you've stuck on earlier, that just Velcros to it, okay? So, on to the next part. You can see how we've fitted that and it's nice and smooth and trying to mirror the seat as much as possible. So under what we call the cuff, this is, this is the piece that takes a hammer in, uh, in and out of the driver's side especially, along here. So this protective cuff that we're about to install will will stop that or protect it as much as possible. Uh, these are handed, so make sure that this Velcro goes this side and vice versa the other. Then this will go round, okay, and it'll also marry up here with this. 
So pull it as tight as possible so that you can see that when you're getting in and out of the seat, uh, this is sort of taking most of um, you know, your hip and the side protector as well. And basically, that's it.